All right. All right. I'll start in three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay. So here's a topic I've been trying to think about for a really long time. I'm just kidding. Ever since Gundam Seed Freedom came out. But technically, even before that, when there was an announcement, the question was, you know, I, I think a lot of us had this question was, is Gundam Seed Destiny good? Or is it? Does it suck? And it was a little bit of both. It sucked and it was good in the beginning. And this is all my opinion. So obviously it's like, you know, I could be wrong, blah, blah, blah. But just from seeing all the spoilers for Gundam Seed Freedom, um, it kind of changed my mind shift a little bit. It changed my mind mindset. And, you know, I want to dig deeper into Gundam Seed Destiny. And, you know, hopefully you guys can join me on this video. And tell me your thoughts on it. And of course, I have Archer here. Uh, he's been in a lot of he's been in a lot of my videos like lately. So we've been having happy good to be here. Oh, good. I'm glad, oh, I'm glad you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just a little details. And of course, we're on Gundam Phantom right now. So again, this is information done by everyone. Uh, the controversy of Gundam Seed Destiny was a sequel for the Gundam Seed series. Um, a lot of us really hated it. It was like borderline of hating it between Gundam Double O movie. If you watch the Gundam Double O movie, a lot of people hated that too. They just didn't like it. Uh, it sucked for both of them. It was weird. And this one had a lot of issues. And, you know, just from, well, let's talk about it. So, yeah. So, see, Destiny, I just feel like it didn't captivate the, the really good parts of the franchise. I guess it. The seed, uh, I guess the Destiny mobile suit just mm -hmm. it didn't wasn't up to par with the Strike Freedom how it was in the actual Gundam Seed like anime. Mm -hmm. So I guess it didn't shine as bright, and I guess the plot was really lame. People just didn't like it. Um, the fights were mediocre. There's nothing too special about it either. There's like lots of just very underwhelming parts about the anime. But overall, I feel like it did do some justice to the mobile suit itself. Because the mobile suit looks good, right? Like, oh, I don't yeah. think anyone hates the mobile suit that much. Yeah, and for something that had like 50 episodes, it's pretty good. So, like, clearly they had the green light to finish the whole thing without rushing. But the yeah. question is, it's just what happened halfway through. That was the issue a lot of people had. It's like, honestly, it started off pretty good. Like, they had a new protagonist, Shin. Um... He was a good character like i mean it worked out like obviously he had his revenge you know he was the whole point was him like joining zaft because of rage you know because of his family dying um it was just mainly that and of course othron was there he was kind of being the uh the support character being his mentor and you know again it takes two years after the peace treaty between zaft and the earth alliance and of course you know Earth Alliance comes out again, and it's kind of like a repeat almost, right? It's just like, it felt like a repeat in the beginning where the, oh, instead of Zav stealing mobile suits, it's the, it's the Earth Alliance <laughs> yeah, yeah, stealing mobile suits. Yeah, it's, it's, it felt kind of like fan service -ish. Yeah, it was just fan service, and it was just weird. Like, it just, it was just the same plot, basically, for the most part, except Shin. Yeah. But I'll be honest with you, when I first saw Shin get into the, um, was it the Impulse, was it? The yeah, beginning? Oh my god, I hated the character so much. I was like, God, this guy's a cocky Shin? bitch. Yeah, he was just cocky. Oh my god, he was actually a bitch. He yeah. was super cocky. Like, he came as, yeah, I'm ready to fight. And it's just like, what yeah. the hell? It's like, this kid's Nobody like, like shit. no one liked him. And it was sad because, like, like, he was supposed to be a good character. And it just, like, it didn't really work towards later on. And, um, and I think that's what happened when. Uh, you know, of course, this is rumors I've heard. I don't know if it's true, but I know, like, the director's wife was, like, the the writer. She wrote Gundam Seed, and when okay. she wrote it, she actually didn't like Shin as the main character. I'm like, wait, but you wrote this. <laughs> yeah, she wrote it. Wait, what are you what? talking about? It's like, oh. it's like, uh, it's like, it's like fucking J.K. Rowling and, like, Harry Potter. She's like, oh, I wanted uh, Harry Potter to be with, uh... Emma Watson's character. I'm Hermione. Like, yeah, Hermione. I'm yeah. like, but you wrote this. <laughs> what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, you wrote the book. You, you... make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you wrote the book. What do you mean? <laughs> Just rewrite it. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt like it was something like that. It was, it was like, okay, yeah. well, like you you wrote this story. You didn't have to make Shen the main character. And, yeah, and then man. that's what happened. Like halfway through the series, they just 
they switched and then we're and then they fucking Kira took the fucking spotlight and then it's funny yeah. because in the openings you can see that they changed their characters halfway through where like he yeah. wasn't in the middle anymore it, it, it was it was so got, bad the, yeah the anime got a little bit better at that point too when Kira started coming it did. With his most it got shit. better but then shit got worse Shin became like a worse character because like he He's just so wasn't jealous. thinking. Yeah, and he just wasn't yeah. thinking right though. And then like, and then Kira killed Stella from the destroy Gundam, and and then and what was that, that was whole so bullshit fight of like the impulse and freedom? That was the most beat. Oh, that was a spy. That was yeah, bro. That was just a little spy. It's like a tantrum they had. Like it, I get it. What they're trying to do, like it was cool when they were strategizing how to beat the freedom, but like, bro, like toward like later the freedom tried to go for the cockpit. So how did that make any sense? It's like, oh, I thought this guy never kills, but. <laughs> Tries to go for the <laughs> cockpit, and it was just oh my god. But I guess it was just all like they were just trying to make it cool. Um, yeah. So you know, just from reading from here, it says although the success in terms of ratings, Gundam Seed Destiny could not match either previous success of Gundam Seed or Full Metal Alchemist, both of which of previously aired not. on popular Saturday. So Gundam Seed did very very well. Um, but Gundam Seed Destiny had high DVD sales, surpassing DVD sales of Gundam Seed. So that was interesting. Like they actually had better sales. I guess I guess a lot more people watched it while it was airing Seed instead of Destiny because they yeah. watch, they probably watched Destiny. And they're like, oh, it's not good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother watching it. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, and then but the seats the, the suits did not disappoint in Gundam Seed Destiny. Um, oh, of course not. They they looked really sick. Like all of them yeah. were amazing. The Strike Freedom, the Infinite Justice, and then uh, even the Destiny Eye Gundam. Candy. Destiny Gundam. Yeah, was they all looked really good. Sick. Yeah, those were really really good so anyways uh moving forward um it got worse halfway through and i think one of the biggest things we were kind of really annoyed about was kagali you know and Atheron's relationship we had no idea what the hell was going on with that it was like are they together are they not and you know as weebs you know like some of us is like we just we have like, to know we, yeah we want to know we're we want to we want to ship but we can't. Yeah. We don't know what's going on. And I think for the last 13 years, we were just wondering, like, what the fuck was going on? Like, how, like, till this day, we had to freaking Google everything. We had to analyze. Okay, I think we're together. We had to watch it a few times just to figure out, like, what was going on. Yeah, and make never... theories and shit. Yeah, there was a bunch of theories, and it just didn't make any sense. And, of course, there was a side story, Gundam Seed Stargazer, that, was, that came out. Uh, and it's crazy. The movie was supposed to come out. They were supposed to make a movie back in, I want to say 2007, I think, or 2008. Oh, damn. There was supposed to be a movie uh, for Gundam Seed. Well, the free, this movie, basically. But it went on hold. And so this movie should have been released like 10 years ago? Or whenever? Like, yeah. Yeah, like 15 years ago. So it was Holy. supposed to be out for a long time. Um, but I think the problem was... Um, what was it? They basically, I think they wanted to go a different direction. So then they start. They that's when they made the Gundam Double O movie. Oh, um, uh, that makes sense. And, but that was like total crap, though. And I think from then they just <laughs> gave up on movies. Like, okay, this is not gonna work. Like, yeah. yeah. And so it screwed up a lot of things apart. So that was kind of annoying. And of course, there's. I think it looks like there's a manga adoption, but looks like it's the point of view of you know, Arthron. But anyways. So we'll we'll talk about it in another video. Um, so what I'm trying to say is, after looking up spoilers for Gundam Seed Freedom, and kind of watching the whole movie, it it let me it made me appreciate Gundam Seed Destiny a lot more. Um, and I think the biggest reason is because we know what happens after, and and that was the biggest issue with Destiny. It's like it gave us it literally left us hanging, like it was pretty much a cliffhanger. Like, yeah, right? it did feel like a cliffhanger. Like it felt like a cliffhanger. It did feel, uh, feel like a hole in your heart, you know? It just didn't yeah. feel right. And then it felt me a hole in a heart for like 10 years of like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Like, it was just going back thinking, I wonder what happened. Though. Exactly. And But because of the movie, it's going to see Freedom came out, it made so much sense. I was like, okay, this is a great. Like, Seed is actually pretty good. It's like, you know how like movies, like, you ever watch the Jurassic World series? Uh, I watched some of it. Okay, so the first one was good. Well, actually, no, it was kind of trash, yeah. but still. The it was, it was, yeah, the Jurassic World, like the one with Chris oh. Pratt. The first <laughs> okay, one really, was okay, decent. Yeah. The second one was crap. The third one 
well, it's still crap, but it was better than the second one. So, like, you know how, like, movies, they have to, like, have the second one just so they can make a third one? That's mm, kind of how it felt like. It. That's how it felt That's like. True. Destiny was, like, the payroll to see freedom, but the only way to see freedom happen is that Destiny needs to happen. So, it, yeah, it, it, it was, was fine. a kind of event. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And... Overall, I think with Seed Destiny, it had a lot of good points and it had a lot of good parts. Like, I, I did you ever play Gundam Reborn? Uh, on PS One. Yeah, PS1. the the Dynasty Warriors one, the Reborn one. Oh yeah, one. yeah, on Xbox. Uh, this was the one after Xbox, so this was like PS Three. Yeah, uh, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty Dynasty Gundam Warriors. Yeah, but that was like, but Gundam Seed Dynasty Warriors Three, which was Reborn, that it came out, uh, after. Number I two. did play uh, Dynasty Warriors, the Gundam version on Xbox 360. I gotcha. think PS3 probably had a different one. Yeah, so they had a different one. It was Reborn after, so it was kind of like yeah. better. Um, but they had a side... Well, they had a alternate ending story for it to see Destiny, actually. Uh, mm-hmm. It was cool. So, like, they did this thing where, like, what if this happened instead? A lot of what-if scenarios. Uh, oh. One of them was, what if Shin change sides instead of you know continue to fight for zapped and that's what happened like he changes sides and i felt mm-hmm. like in see destiny was like shin was really contemplating on hey is this right is this wrong because if you watch halfway through towards the end that's what was going on like he just didn't know what to do he was like is this the right so mm-hmm. this was right he just had this all the wrong. voice in his head yeah <laughs> and then obviously you know he you fucking rent rage quit and then fucking got yeah. wrecked. <laughs> quit life. Yeah. So I think yeah. So anyways, it's just that like Shin had a pretty good start. He had a pretty good character. It could have worked, but I don't know. It just didn't follow through, right? Um. But yeah, overall, like it it was. It kind of makes me want to watch see Destiny again. I want to watch it just cause. Well, obviously the animation is way better. And second, like. I think watching again now will make me feel like, okay, I can appreciate this. I know what I'm getting myself into. And it's just easier to watch. Because now I know there's a seat freedom. And it's okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. Anyone who's watching and anyone who's a fan of Gundam Seed probably should watch Seed Destiny again. And maybe I'll have a different output on it. Cause yeah, I'm give watching... it a shot. Yeah, because I'm watching Seed right now and... <laughs> Oh my god. Kira's a fucking bitch, dude. I can't handle it, dude. Kira? Yeah, he's such a yeah, little he is. He's Kira, a little yeah. pansy, dude. I'm like, I can't do this, yeah. dude. Like, cause that I... was a problem with the seed, uh, like, the characters. A lot of them, like, the dudes are just bitches. And... Yeah, they were. And, like, I get it because they're fucking kids, but I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, the, the humble beginnings, man. It's rough. I'm like, I don't know if I can handle this anymore. Yeah. Because I'm just like, dude, what is going on? But then, at least with Destiny, it's like, all the characters are pretty much grown up, you know, and yeah, more which, matured. Exactly, and he obviously you see freedom. Just from what I've seen, it seems like Othra's the only character that actually grew, and he's just like at his prime, you know. I am. Um... I think he is like out of all the characters. I think Othra's the only one that like, oh, you know, look forward to that. That grew, and he was the only one that was like chill, you know, out of all the characters. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Uh, I don't know if I really explained anything of why we should want Seed Destiny, but I think the biggest <laughs> thing was that Gundam Seed Freedom just made me appreciate Seed Destiny a little more, uh, just because of the ending, or just how everyone's character is there, and it kind of, re- it filled a hole in my heart that now I can move on, and I know what will happen. Oh! And of course, Kagali and Othan are together in Seed Freedom. So, Yay. that helped me. So, that gave me a lot of hope. And I was like, yes, this is great. I'm very so this movie is like, uh, This movie is like closure for Gundam Seed fans and yes. Seed Destiny fans. It is a huge closer that, like, okay, now we're happy. Like, we can move on. <laughs> like, literally, we can move on from this. Like, yeah, literally, on. move on. <laughs> we're ready to move on. We can be happy. Move on, bro. Yeah, we got to move on, bro. And we did. And now we can move on and we can enjoy seed and we can get more. Now we want more seed. <laughs> oh, yeah. But now, we, seed. but now we don't have to go, like, oh my God, I hate this. You know, like, I think it's even the director said himself, it's like, we made sure that this movie was going to be epic. And for all the seed fans, like, you all waited for 13 years. 
this was worth it kind of thing. And I think that movie does justice. And we've seen the we've seen the freaking um we've seen the freaking uh numbers like fuck man it blew up like in money. Um, so those are just my thoughts on the Gundam Seed Destiny. Again, uh, if you want to watch it, I highly recommend it now because since there's a Seed Freedom, you don't have to worry about having a hole in your heart, and you can actually feel that you completed the movies. Yeah, and, Seed yeah. Destiny. I feel like it is a worth the watch. You know, mm-hmm. it is worth the watch, even though it is a. You you might not lock it here and there, but it's worth the watch though. Yeah, Just especially now, especially now. So that's yeah, why I say it's movie, a, man. so. Anyone new to Gundam Seed, you could it, it's safe to watch now. You don't have to feel like there's a hole in your heart. <laughs> it's safe to watch Destiny. It is guys. safe don't to worry. watch Destiny. So feel free to watch <laughs> it, guys. Won't know. <laughs> so, anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. If this is your first time here, be sure to like and subscribe, and tell me your thoughts in the comments. And see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. Hey, I was watching that.